Hello, everyone. Uh, there's a lot to unpack with uh, what the affirmative was stating, so I'd like to get right into it and say that, uh, first of all, the, uh, the, the first quote that the opposition just stated was that uh, they wanted to, for the assault weapons ban, was to reduce the carnage of a deadly shooting, and saying that it is to reduce uh, mass shootings, like the death of mass shootings, is a bit of a stretch of, of the quote, and extrapolating way too much in order to, to make that fit their point, and it's just fitting their narrative. First, and then also, uh, uh, and, and furthermore, uh, the assault weapons ban didn't actually, uh, like, decrease crime and decrease the carnage. Like, ban, ban guns were uh, only recovered, during the assault weapons ban, ban guns were only recovered 1% of the time at crime scenes rather than 2%, a statistically irrelevant decrease. The Department of Justice 2004 study found that the ban didn't lead to decreased gun, gun crime or deaths and that the, the criminals had switched to, to other guns. And furthermore, if, you, if we want to talk about uh, reducing carnage of, of deadly, uh, deadly killings or deadly mass, mass, uh, mass killings, uh, why don't we talk about the recent car issue, uh, ramming cars into people and throughout the world. In, in light, according to uh, the F, uh, FBI study, in light of recent instances of uh, car rammings, the FBI suggested in 2010 that in a roll call release that titled terrorists use uh, vehicle ramming tactics that it offers, that it quote, offers terrorists with limited access to, expo that it offers terrorists with limited access of explosives or weapons an opportunity to conduct a homeland attack with minimal prior training or experience. Furthermore, if we want to uh, discuss all the carnage that has happened with these car ramings, why don't we discuss that uh, uh, from a CNN article how that in Manhattan, New York, October 31st, 2017, eight people were killed and a dozen wounded. Barcelona, Spain, eight, August 17, 2017, 14 killed. Uh, Charlottesville, North Carolina, August 12, 2017, one killed and 19 injured. London, England, June 3rd, uh, 2017, eight people killed and more than 40 injured. Stockholm, Sweden, uh, in, tw uh, in April 7, 7, uh, 2017, five people were killed and a dozen injured. Uh, nice, France, July 14, 2016, 84 people were killed and more than 200. And Berlin, Germany, December uh, 19, 2016, 12 people were killed and 48 wounded, and the list continues to go on. So if we're talking about banning things that are, are uh, that can create mass carnage, why don't we talk about cars? But that's just ridiculous. But I would first like to go into the fact that that uh, we simply just cannot ban assault weapons because the uh, it would just it doesn't uh, it wouldn't apply to us with the Second Amendment. And so the affirmative, affirmative claim that the Second Amendment does not apply to citizens to citizens today like it used to back in the 1700s. The Heller decision uh, and which they they. Uh, the opposition actually cherry-picked a, uh, a quote. The Heller decision upheld the rights of citizens to, to protect themselves with firearms and the right to possess firearms. This, uh, and the evidence for this is that the Supreme Court ruled, quote, the inherent right of self-defense has been central to the Second Amendment and that it guarantees the individual right to possess and carry weapons in, in case of confrontation. They, said, they quoted that, that, that quotation from the Heller decision. However, uh, the, the Heller decision went on to go to say that uh, we do not interpret the constitutional rights that way when it, discussing how uh, the Second Amendment only applies to 18th century weapons, but it, it actually applies to modern weapons as well. Just and the, the, the Heller decision goes on to say that just as the First Amendment protects modern forms of communication and the Fourth Amendment applies to modern forms of search, the Second Amendment extends prima facie to all instruments that constitute bearable arms, even those that were not in existence at the time of the founding. Therefore, uh, if we would like to provide an analogy, that's like saying that uh, your, your uh, right to exercise free speech uh, on Twitter does not, uh, is not upheld anymore simply because it's a modern form of communication. Assault weapons are a modern form of, of, of technology, and so the Second Amendment should still apply to it. And then also, they, they discussed how that the Australian gun ban actually it worked. However, the, Australia's gun ban actually had zero effect on, on uh, mass shootings and on uh, and on, on killing or and on, on uh, gun homicides. According to the 2011 Justice uh, Policy Journal, uh, in New Zealand and Australia were compared. New Zealand did not enact a gun ban similar to and is similarly socioeconomically similar to Australia. The study found that there was no statistical difference in mass shootings from before the 1996 ban and after. In fact, New Zealand has not had a mass shooting since 1996, despite the gun availability. According to the American Medical Association, in 2016, Australia did not have a statistical difference in firearm, firearm homicides and suicides. Also, did not 
and it is not possible to determine whether the change in firearm deaths can be attributed to the gun law, gun law of performs. Also, the, Australia does not have a Bill of Rights or anything like the Second Amendment. In fact, they don't even uh, protect the right to exercise free speech like we do. Uh, the Prime Minister who oversaw the gun ban in Australia said that, uh, our quote, our challenges were different from America's. Australia is an even more intensely urban society with close to 60% of our people living in large cities. Our gun, our gun lobby isn't as powerful or well financed as the NRA in the United States. Australia, incorrectly, in my, in my view, says it, so he was gloating that they don't have a Bill of Rights, which is kind of iffy. Uh, so our legislators have more to say than America's, uh, than America's over many issues of individual rights in our courts. Uh, have less control. Also, we have no constitutional right to bear arms. After all, the British gave, granted us a nationhood peacefully. The United States had to fight for it. Uh, also, the, the, the Australian uh, gun ban is also impractical here, as the Australia had a compulsory gun back buyback that only received about 0.5 to 1 million of the 3 million guns available in Australia. If done in America, there's 60 to 100. Uh, there's 60 to 100. Uh, uh, that that would mean that only 60 to 105 million of the 300 million guns would be taken from the 47 percent of all U.S. citizens that admit to having a gun. Uh, or if, if this was to to uh, to go for assault weapons, that means that one to two million of assault weapons would have to be uh, would have to be uh, uh, taken up, which means that there's still. Uh, or three, three, six million, uh, or one to six, one to two million of the three to six million assault weapons out there, and then. Uh, uh, also, uh, they cherry pick the they cherry picked uh, a study saying that that uh, that that uh, mass shootings had increased from before the gun ban to now. Considering the fact that they did not use the government standard of four people, when you use the four, four people being killed instead of six people, this completely changes the, the, uh, the study done. <clears throat> According to the Crime Prevent, uh, Prevention Center, mass shootings are actually on a, on a downward trend uh, when you use the government standard of four people in a mass shooting. Thank you.